Tyler, I keep seeing headlines about the commercial real estate crisis that is supposedly going to happen this year. And it scares me because I'm a real estate investor. I have a lot of REITs. I own properties. I, you know, things like that. So it doesn't seem from looking at the numbers, because now we're through earnings season pretty much, that the reality of the situation is quite as extreme. So certain types of properties are doing really well. And I know one type in particular that, that you have your eye on, investors really shouldn't be worried about. Yeah, I mean, they, they, and this isn't to say that we're absolutely in the clear. You know, when you have debt turnovers, are, you know, having to refinance in these coming years, there's going to be weaker players, obviously. Like, that's just how it's always going to work. But, you know, from an entire segment it, it, uh, kind of uh, concern that I think it, it, a lot of this has been portrayed, it really depends on what real estate market you're looking at. And the, the one that I follow the most is industrial. And this is the one uh, segment where it is really hard to see that weakness really setting its teeth. And I think the best example of that is Prologis. They're the largest industrial warehouse and industrial real estate company out there uh, covering globally. And it was really interesting to see in their most recent quarter. Uh, so their net, their cash rent change year over year was 41%. So new, the, any new lease that they either signed a new one or, you know, it, re-up the existing lease was up by 41% and same store net operating income was still 11%. These are numbers that we've been seeing for almost two years now, which is absolutely absurd. Like you don't, we've talked about this before, real estate, uh, if you can get net income or net operating income growth of five to 8%, you're doing awesome. So these, these double digit gains are incredible. And Management is raising its guidance for the year uh, across pretty much every metric that you'd want to see. And it's something that we've I've seen from a lot of other industrial real estate companies, too. So when we talk about the collapse of commercial real estate, I think we need a little bit more specific of what we're talking about here. And we just we talked before this video and it's really mostly office. Right. Yeah, I mean, all, there are a bunch of different subsectors of commercial real estate, and they're not all in the same boat. Like you mentioned, industrial is probably fine. And I remember about, I think it was right around a year ago, probably the same quarter last year, when Amazon scared everybody by saying, we have too much warehouse space. It turned out that that was kind of an Amazon problem, not a industry-wide problem, it seems. Like you mentioned, 41% cash rent growth. Um there are some other subsectors that I think are just fine. Uh, Self-storage, I think, is a, a big one that the numbers are in that ballpark where certain self-storage operators are raising their, their same store net operating income by over 20% year over year. Um, apparently, my dog agrees. And <laughs> there are some other sectors where, in my mind, every time I see commercial real estate is headed for a collapse, I'm hearing office properties. I know there are some other types that are in trouble as well, like uh, data center properties are also, you know, ha have some some headwinds, especially when it comes to valuation and ability to refinance right now. Um, and I know you you have some multifamily uh, properties might have some issues, but for the most part, is it fair to say that office is the biggest concern? Yeah, I think from a from an, a, a sector wide, office is the one that. They always seems that seem to be popping up as the greatest concern. What I was saying with uh, multifamily earlier was that we have a very large kind of build. Uh, like there's a lot of multifamily under construction right now, and you know, honestly, we 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 kind of followed the the kind of the crowd funded real estate industry a little bit, and we saw a lot of kind of speculative deals that were penciled in the past three or four years. And when the debt comes due or to be refinanced, they're going to look a little shakier than they do today. And, you know, some really good operators are going to be able to manage through. There's going to be some weaker ones, but that doesn't necessarily mean a crisis, right? For these industries, uh, office, you know, who knows, maybe we go back to a world of everybody works from an office again, or, you know, 90% in this work from home thing is, is just a fad, but 
I, I have a hard time seeing that. And as a result, I, I think a lot of people who are you know, maybe a little snake bitten or shy of this industry may want to take another look because it may not necessarily be as bad. And there's specific sectors within commercial real estate that are looking pretty attractive still. Once again, thank you so much for joining me. Be sure to click subscribe if you don't subscribe to my channel already. And as always, this video is sponsored by The Motley Fool. Be sure to visit www.fool.com slash Frankel to receive the 10, top 10 best stocks to buy now.